Hey guys, uh, back out on another number adventure today. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm not feeling the best, but I've been out for a couple of weeks, so I want to uh, get out and have a dig. Uh, we'll see how it goes. The weather's pretty terrible as well, so um, I've bought my weight weather gear. Um, we'll wrap up the Xterra 505 and we'll see uh, how long we uh, get some detecting in. I was going to take you down to a creek where I thought there might be some old bottles, but we've had a lot of rain in the past. Had a lot of rain in the past. A uh, week or so, um, though it's really up and swift, so I'm not going to go in there. Uh, we'll go back there in a, a couple of weeks. Uh, so I've come back to this place where I found the military fork. Um, because we've had a lot of rain, I'm hoping the ground's like super damp and uh, a bit more conductive and might find a few more goodies. Probably got a couple of other places I might check out on the way home if this is no good. Um, but if the rain sets in, then I'm just going to call it quits. Soccer might be called off tomorrow um, if it rains again, so I might get a bit more in tomorrow depending on uh, how wet it is. Uh, yeah, let's uh, get into it and see what we can find. I'll uh, be back at the first hole. Hi right, guys, so far I've just been pulling ring pulls. Um, we've got a couple of $2. I think that's uh, what we've got here as well. Let's have a look, see. It didn't sound too deep, so. Oh, where's he gone? Yeah. There he is. And, uh, two bucks. Oh well, uh, let's pay for the petrol money at least. I'll take that. Sweet, I thought I cleaned out this area. I'm just going to refill it a little bit. Alright, well, hopefully, we'll get on some pre decks pretty shortly. I'm going to cut flooring and have that military fork out of here. So I know there's stuff in here. Um, I'm going real low and slow. I've probably done what, 10 meters in half hour. Um, but there is a lot of trash as well. So, Alright, well, we'll see what we can find and I'll be back on the next hole. You guys uh, just had a nice 42 um, on the Xterra 505. Um, so there's something in here. Could be a can. Let's see. It's only six inches deep, which is a good sign. It's in here. Don't see anything? Ah, oh, there it is. You know what it's going to be, don't you? Oh, this one's had a nick as well. A bloody two dollar, two cent. And they sound so good. So annoying. Oh well, at least it means there's still stuff here, hey? Alright, well, uh, we'll keep going. Oh, that's a pity. Two cents. Sound is so good. Oh well, let's check the hole. Alright, keep going. Hey guys, I uh, had a real scratchy kind of 30 signal on the Xero 505. thought it was going to be a uh, an older pull tab because they have been coming up as around 30 but just turn the plod out and uh, this has popped out I think it's a scout badge let's have a see here it looks like a scout badge it's definitely a badge I think it's the the scout symbol, isn't it? Oh, what does that say? Is that maker's mark, or is it? It's no, not gold. Maybe gold plate. Let me see if I can clean it off. I have to get a. I can't really see what it says. I'm going to have to get under the loop. That's a sweet find. I think it's broken, but there's some marking on the back. It could be maker's mark. Oh. I think silver or gold, so that's pretty sweet. I like that. And I'll take that one. I don't know the age of it. It's pretty cool. All right, well, I'll get it under the loop and see if we can see what it says and uh, let you know the wrap up. Cool. So this was a game was a, a bit of a high tone, probably 36. Um, I was expecting another uh, Bacardi bottle tap or something. But uh, you can see in the plug here, you've got the, the pull tab, the beaver tail here, and then in the sidewall, I think it's a it's either two dollar or two cent. Let's get the goodies first. Cent. That's why it's pinging so high, and then leave the tail. Let's see if there's anything else in there. While we're here, no, that's it. Yeah, so it's good to be able to hear that. Although those uh, two cents coins do do bang out, so oh, well, we'll take it. So another coin at least. 
we'll keep going. All right, I've had another bang in 36 signal. Um, something definitely in here. I can see the uh, the clod here. Uh, so let's uh, have a poke around with the pinpointer. I don't see it yet. So let's uh, see what we've got. Penny, half penny, hopefully. Beauty. Oh man, it's pretty eaten. It's gonna swap hands. Alright, what we got here? Gonna be a roux, I think. I'm starting to see the strainer and the roux come through. Yeah, what's this? There should be a date here. So we get the camera to focus. Is that 1939 maybe? 38? I think it's 38. Nice. Alright, well first pre, pre deck for the day, pretty beat up, but um, so what was that? That's only kind of what, two inches down, so it's, uh, it's a good sign. Still a few more things here, we'll keep looking. You guys are in again, just uh, pulled out a 61 half penny. Um, well, it's probably what, right at the bottom there, three or four inches down. Uh, pretty beat up again. Yeah, probably what, a meter away from the last one. So they're definitely in here, it's starting to come out now. So we'll keep uh, easy on the back. We'll keep digging and uh, hopefully we'll play a few more. Maybe some silver. Hey guys, all right, I've had a funny bit of a signal in here. Um, pulled out a pull tab, but it didn't sound right. So I kept uh, poking around with the pinpointer and uh, pulled out my first silver. So we get it to focus. Yeah, nice. I think this is going to be a nice one too. So. Let's uh, pop it down and we'll get the foo out. It's got a coat of arms on it, so I think that's an older one, isn't it? 1924. See that on there? See if I can... Are you to zoom for me? I'm zooming. What are you doing? 1924. Beautiful. That's my first... Uh, Sixpence? Yeah, it is a sixpence. Beauty. First, what? Oh, first silver of the day. I think it's probably my oldest silver as well, maybe. I'll take that. Beautiful. See? Pays to check your holes. Quickly, guys, I think I'm going to get caught in the rain. Um, just tossed out another uh, half penny here. I haven't touched it yet, so I don't know what it is, but I'll uh, grab it and we'll uh, see what it is. Nineteen fifty-eight. <coughs> I'm doing very well with the camera today. Sweet, another pre-deck. Uh, I've probably got we got ten minutes, and then I got to head out before this rain catches me and soaks my gear. I'm feeling pretty tired as well, so. All right, we'll uh, keep going for a few more minutes. Always the way, isn't it, guys? You get to leave and uh, all the coins start popping up. Um, just had another one here, another banging, kind of 36, 39. Uh, this time it is a penny. I'll just take them out at the bottom here. That one's in not too bad, Nick. Yeah, that's not too bad, is it? A date on there. Should do, yeah, 1950, something, 19. 1950. Beauty. Look at the patina on that. Beautiful. Alright, I'm just at the base of this massive tree, so I'm guessing this is where I'll be sat. Um, nice big old gum tree. Yeah. Beautiful. Alright, well, I'm going to uh, just poke around here a little bit more until the rain really starts, and uh, then we'll get away. Hey guys, uh, time for the wrap up. 
I had a really short hunt yesterday, um, really wasn't feeling well, um, and the rain started coming down, so yeah, gave it up, uh, just over two hours, um, didn't find too much junk, a lot of ring pulls, um, but I was chasing those, I guess more not those specifically, but those tones specifically, so yeah, but uh, found a, a few pre-decks, uh, a couple of goldies for my troubles, and a, a, a pretty sweet badge. Um, I did bring this bottle top home, because I've seen nothing like it before, um, it's probably modern, but I think it's interesting anyway. On the underside, it's got this like a plasticky rubber part. Um, I always thought it's cool, never seen it, so I thought I'd bring that home. This one here is um, an Adventure Scout badge. Um, it's missing the pin on the back. Um, there is a an RD number, is the small print at the bottom here. Um, so I'm sure with a bit of research, I'll be able to tell exactly when that was from. But that's kind of a cool find. Um, there's been a lot of videos with scouty stuff coming out recently. I've been watching on YouTube, so uh, I was stoked to find my own kind of piece of scout history there. Uh, we've got five bucks in goldies, so that was uh, paid for the fuel. Um, the usual uh, brown buggers. This one is actually in pretty good nick. Normally they're pretty crusty. Um, onto the pre-dex. Uh, we have the 1921 silver sixpence. If it can focus, yeah, there we go. So it's not in too bad nick. Um, there's a bit of wear through the through the scroll at the bottom. Just looking online, it's considered a slightly harder date, but yeah, it's not in great condition. I mean, the, the reverse is pretty good, but there's there's still a bit of wear on there. But yeah, nice nice to always find silver. Um, the rest of the um, the coppers came out in pretty bad nick. We've got a 1953 halfpenny, um, which was a first year QE2. So that was kind of cool. And then we've got a 61 half penny, and then this was kind of cool as well. Um, we've got a 1938 um, penny and a 1952 penny. So that's uh, a first year Georgia 6th and a last year Georgia 6th. So yeah, that was kind of cool to find. <clears throat> Overall, yeah, good day out, had um, had fun, um, just wasn't feeling the best. Um, I've got some other stuff that I want to do shortly. Um, I was going to go down to a place and take a walk up the creek, but we've had a lot of rain here and uh, it, was pretty, it was pretty swift so I didn't fancy jumping in there especially not feeling too well so I've got that video that I want to make over the next few weeks uh, next weekend I'm travelling up to Dawson um, my wife is racing up there I'm going to take the detector and maybe call in and try and pinch Tim Davis's spot down at Umina seeing as the amount of erosion they've had up there I might pop in and uh, see if he's about um, so yeah if any of you guys are around uh, the Umina area next, next weekend I think it's Sunday um, drop me a message on Facebook on YouTube, uh, it would be cool to hook up with you guys. Okay, that's it for uh, this week. Um, thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave your comments. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time out.